Alrighty, well, good morning, everybody, and uh, time once again for my pseudo cast. And to, before I get into this, um, I'm gonna crack open a can of V8 Energy Orange Pineapple flavored. So get ready for some pops. Okay, so and uh, this morning selection. Mainly, I grabbed this just because of the interesting looking, because of the the cover. Um, I've heard I've heard a tiny bit of this. There, I think there's a little bit of singing in it, but I don't I don't think the whole album is dominated by it or anything. So, um, and like I did before, I just clicked um, just on top of the YouTube page. I clicked Dungeon Synth, since that was the genre I'm, that I'm into. What that I was into at the time and. This is like the first thing that, or one of the first things that came up. So, so we're just going with this. Imagination never fails. And uh, I gotta sound check this a little bit though. All right, I'm just so I'm just gonna go ahead and go with that. Uh, but anyway, to start. But anyway, to start with, to start with, uh, once again, I had no internet and my, my cable company, uh, Spectrum, cause they decided to do some planned maintenance on my internet, so it's kind of, kind of ticked me off once again, I'm getting kind of tired of this. Um, normally it wouldn't be that much of an issue if not for the fact that I'm paying anywhere between 160 to 170 bucks a month for this. I'd like my internet to be constantly working. So, but, um, I guess to be fair, this time around, it only lasted like an hour. I was only out for an hour and it was back up again, but I've definitely seen worse. So, and I, and I think I need to turn that down a little more. Yeah. Turn that down a little more. Um, oh, and um, yesterday morning, shortly after I did my uh, previous pseudo cast, that came in the mail. Um, um, those 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 that have uh, listened to my other cast know that I'm very big on this. It's called Strong Towns. Um, the guy Charles Marone, uh, he used to be a he used to be a city planner and I think a civil engineer, but um, he uh, I think he gave he gave that up. To start this nonprofit company called Strong Towns, um, I think he's a uh, he he's got his YouTube channel. He also does a bunch of other city planning videos. Um, and and in case I didn't mention, he's he Strong Towns is a nonprofit organization that he runs. So, but uh, he was also one of the inspirations for me. Uh, getting into city skylines you know getting into city planning games so this is one of the this is one of the inspirations right here so I'll, I'll definitely be giving that a read so. but uh, uh, I guess the short version the short version um, cities um, the cities that you see these days, especially here in America and Canada, I guess, they weren't they weren't built to last. They weren't built to last for like hundreds and thousands of years like it was back in ancient times. I mean, what well, basically cities these days are basically centered around the car. Um, it was like a brand, you know, a brand new invention back in the in the 1900s someplace. Everybody loved cars so much that they decided to go ahead and plan the whole entirety of the country around cars now instead of uh, walking. Probably because uh, back in the day, everybody hated walking so much. You know, everybody's just tired of walking from point A to point B. So when automobiles became invented, everybody was happy as lark. Hey, I don't have to walk anymore. So pretty soon, the city planners and whatnot started, started planning their cities around the car. But because of that, um, cities are basically financially insolvent now. They're they're run out of Ponzi scheme. Uh, basically, you you get a loan from Bank A, 
which you pay back that loan by getting another loan from Bank B. And you just rinse and repeat. So um, another way of looking at it, debt financing or deficit financing. I think it's another term for it. So, but, um, I, but like I said, I'm only in the first chapter on this. But uh, he'll, um, I'm pretty sure he'll probably elaborate in, uh, in, uh, in how to improve the city situation. Ah, but uh, aside from that, I also down. Um, I I said this yesterday, but I had SimCity 3000 literally sitting on top of my computer. Um, so tried giving that game a go, and I found that a uh, Stronghold Crusader here. This is the game I used to play the crap out of back in the 90s, or in the 90s or 2000s, somewhere around there. I saw it on Steam for a buck ninety-nine. Like, holy shit! So yeah, I'm getting that sucker. Um, but what? But they are basically unplayable though, because I've mentioned this in other casts, but they have what's called um, uh, forced or either forced full screen, meaning there is no op, there is no windowed option for these. And on top of that, it's also a forced full screen, full screen. So, what ends up happening is, uh, if I wanted to switch windows from one of these two games into another one, I would have to go through that. I would have to go through that for several seconds as my whole computer shuffles around its computer resolution into my normal desktop. And if I want to switch back into one of the two games, I have to go back into that for several seconds and then back into the game so it's and during that that and then I want to switch back to the to to the game and then so uh 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 and uh there have been times where where my computer my computer literally permanently blacked out meaning I have to restart the computer so so these two games went bust So, but again, it, 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 that sucks because SimCity 3000, there's a, there's some things in that game that either A, you can't do in City Skylines, or B, you, you can do, but you have to you have to pay like 15, 20 bucks to download that DLC. And uh, that's one of the one of the things I hate about City Skylines. Things that it would be would be considered, you know, standard fare in any other older, any of the older games, are now a fucking DLC in this one. But yeah, it's a, it's a con, it's a constant problem these days with video games. So, so yeah. So. Wow! 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 But otherwise, I also um, I also decided to give this album here a go, uh, David Bowie's Heroes album. Uh, my verdict, eh. Just like uh, just like all the other David Bowie albums, um, Black Star included. I kind of I kind of elab elaborated on it yesterday, but basically it just the the hype surround or I don't want to say hype. Because the, the context of the album is pretty important. Like, ba the short answer, he basically died two days after the album was released. So it really was a swan song album. But I don't, again, I don't, I don't really have time to delve into it further. I explained a lot more on yesterday's cast. One thing, uh, one thing that really did stick out about this album, though, uh, the title track, Heroes. I'm sitting here like, I've heard that somewhere before. Oh, where did I hear that? You know, we can be heroes just for one day. Oh, where did I hear that? And then I did a Google search and... Aha! So that's where I heard it. The fucking wallflowers. Okay, so... And then it all came back to me. Yeah, I hear... Yeah, and I, I hear this. I, I think I've heard that most, most every single day at, 
and all the other jobs I've worked at. I've he basically heard it. I basically have heard it every day ever since it first came out, like back in the 90s someplace. I've heard it, you know, I, I, I pretty much hear it. It's either, it's either heroes or one headlight. Yeah. They change, but no way ain't the same. He said it's called... Oh, and that, uh, some... Sixth Avenue, Harley's High. I've had to hear that song, Heroes, and, 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 uh, that song, Sixth Avenue Heartache, One Headlight, and Heroes. Um, I've had to hear all that shit every single day at work, ever since that stuff came out in the 90s. So, so, yeah, definitely no love for that music. But otherwise, otherwise, the only thing, the only thing that stood out about Heroes was the title track. Otherwise, like I said, the rest of the album, it just went in one ear and out the other. So. Kind of an... It's a pretty cool sounding album. I mean, aside from a few, the kingdom is ours, like short one-liners here and there. I mean, it's actually... Sounds pretty cool. I might actually go ahead and download this. That's that's something else I gotta do too. I'll probably download this album. And there's probably gonna be some uh, other select videos that I might also download. Um, I'm starting to build up a... I'm starting to build up some... Uh, some zombie apocalypse videos. Like in case my internet goes down again. I'll have some videos to watch. Some newer ones. But uh, I have some of these saved up too for like when my internet goes out for like long periods of time. So if I'm, if I got to do a pseudo cast, at least I'll have some music to play in the background. And, and this, um, this also came up on my YouTube recommendations. Uh, this guy, Chris Harbor, natural building. So, after watching this, uh, watching like probably about the first 10 minutes of this video, uh, I subbed to this guy immediately. Uh, as you can see in the lower left corner, this guy lives off the grid on a building that he made himself. And no, and th this ain't, and this ain't like 100% complete rustic or anything like that. Like he's, he's, he's got some technology in here. He's got electric. I mean, I always thought living off the grid basically meant like having like no electricity or no technology at all like you are you're basically literally living off the land like you're eating beetles and all that like you're like you got you got a shit ton of firewood you know you're all you know all your heat is like like straight up fire you know like like you know before technology came into you know before technology you know before electricity that kind of thing but nope um he's this guy's got internet uh he He's got internet, he's got, I think he's got a fridge, he's got a microwave. But uh, I guess living off the grid wasn't quite what I thought it meant. All it meant is you're not relying on electricity or you're not relying on, you know, you're not relying on the power grid. You're not relying on, you know, utilities, you know, having to pay an electric bill, that kind of thing. Again, I thought uh, living off the grid was more, was more extreme than that, but no. Um, but like I said, I've only watched maybe like the first 10, 15 minutes of this guy's video. But uh, but uh, one of the first things that came to mind when I when I was watching this video, though, it reminded me the very, 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 very end of the game Final Fantasy VII. Um, for those for those that don't know, uh, Final Fantasy VII. Um, I forgot to make a I forgot to make a screenshot of this, but uh. It's the standard toxic ink trope. You know, the bad guys being Shinra Incorporated, they are, you know, they're they're sucking up the life stream of the planet, they're destroying the planet, they're making making materia and machines and whatnot, destroying the environment, you know. I'm not anti-environmentalist, but the shit gets old. 
you know, but it just, you know, just tired at all, you know, just, it's just, you know, it's real tropish. It's old and cliche now. So, but anyway, um, it, you know, but, you know, but the very end of that game, though, it showed this awesome marriage between technology and nature. You know, it's, uh, you know, their way of saying, you know, the two can coexist together. You know, again, it was, um, it was, it, it was one of those that shattered my own stereotypes because, you know, the, the, you know, the environmentalists that I knew of, they either, they literally lived, I mean, lived off the grid, but they weren't, late, they had like no technology at all. Like they were, you know, chopping, you know, I, it, living, I, it, it's the easiest way I can explain it is living off the land, you know, with like, like not even a cell phone or anything like that, not even a microwave or anything like that. You know, those are the environmentalists that I knew. Either that, or they were a whole, they were just a bunch of hypocrites that, you know, we're destroying the planet, and they're, you know, they're driving in, they're driving in their SUV or they're driving in their gas guzzling vehicles, and you know, they're using cell phones and whatnot, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But then here they are. Here they are pumping their fists, you know, pro environment or whatever. But the end of that movie, though, the end of that, or movie, the end of that game, though, and I guess, uh, I wish I knew the name of the, probably the main good guy, but uh, he had no legs and, or he had a, he had a floaty ball where his legs used to be. But he would end almost every sentence with, ho ho ho! That kind of thing. But, but yeah, he, you know, um, it, if, uh, one good thing that did come out of that game was the fact that you can you can have both you can make it work so so yeah I definitely subbed to this guy's channel I know um I know if, if that said uh five years of living off the grid I'm sure he's got a whole shit ton of videos I'm also assuming that uh he's recorded himself every step of the way so yeah, but like I said, I'm definitely gonna be watching more of this channel. Uh, but otherwise, that uh, for the most part, that was the uh, that's pretty much the meat of my pseudo cast. So this part here is gonna be uh, kind of kind of a behind the scenes and how I made this um I tried to I tried to download a, or I, I was looking into something like PowerPoint or like a some kind of slideshow software but um this is the first one that came up but it's but unfortunately you have to you have to pay a subscription it's like a hundred bucks a year and as one who works part time, I can't. I hundred bucks a year. It just, despite the fact that it's a yearly cost, it seems a bit much, especially for something that I, I may not use that much. And they got that, they have that cancel any time crap. But it, it, it to me it feels like a rip off when they say, you know, when you in order to get this you have to subscribe and you have to give them your credit card info but then you can you can cancel any time meaning you can go ahead and cancel your subscription the moment you get the powerpoint so i that 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 stunk uh, i was highly suspicious of stuff like that i'm or i'm highly suspicious of something like that so and um, i tried looking for um i think i tried looking for one other one other program like PowerPoint, it, 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 I saw the website and it was just, hey, come on, this here, Billy Bob, this here is Billy Bob's PowerPoint. Our PowerPoint works just as well as the Microsoft boys. So come on now, man, give us a download. Yee haw! You know, like, like a really backwoods, ma and pa type, type PowerPoint. I'm like, uh, no. And it's absolutely free. You know, and I'm like, uh, no, no, so, because, 
right now, right now, what I just... Because right now, I have... I'm basically, um, I'm basically using, um, I'm using paint images right now. Microsoft Paint, the one that, you know, the one com that came with my computer. And then, um, I have to push F11 for each one. So we got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty two, twenty four. I have twenty four windows open right now. One for the uh, one for the one for the paint window. And one for the full screen version of that paint window. And the reason why I have that is because the I do have something like a it's like a it's like a Microsoft slideshow. I have something like it already on my computer, but the problem is my OBS program doesn't recognize it. I've tried using it with OBS, but uh it just gives me a blank screen. So I now have to go through all this trouble, all this trouble just, just because of that one technicality. That was why I was wanting PowerPoint. Um, uh, from what I saw of it, it's like this. Um, it's you pretty much got all the screenshots on one program, and it's all in one big window. So I can, I it, I can click whichever one I want at will. So instead of having a Instead of having this very specific order that I have set up here on OBS. So. So yeah, and yes, I'm very, and for those, for those that have never seen my other casts, I think this is my, my second time trying it this way. So I'm very new to this. Um, up until now, this is what this is all you would see throughout my entire cast. Just the thumbnail of the music that I'm playing, and that's it. Just me talking. Um, and uh, some, you know, something like this. What I just did, though, it basically literally took me all night to make. So yeah, it's an extremely tedious process. You know, cause I gotta, you know, cause I gotta brainstorm for ideas, you know, and then I have to go on Google or various other image-based websites, find the images I'm looking for, the image, or image, or in some cases maybe a GIF or something. But you know that, and it, it, there's a, I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of research and there's a lot of preparation that goes into this. So I definitely don't envy other YouTubers the way they are. Uh, make their videos. I mean, especially somebody like uh, Emperor Lemon. I mean, oh my God, that guy is an editing machine. So, so yeah, no, little wonder why it takes him a, it takes him a month to make a video. But, but um, otherwise, um, I pretty much have said all the things that I wanted to say this morning, so I'll just go ahead and call it good here. Um, but thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that, and um, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. So, excuse me. But until then, though, thanks again for coming around, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye for now. <laughs>